Good afternoon, I'm Linda Welbrock, the founder of Leading Women Entrepreneurs, and I am thrilled to have Sandra Fava of Fox Rothschild here with us today. Sandra, congratulations. Welcome to the class of 2018 of Top 25s. Thank you. Yes. Very so excited. It, we are too, and I'd like to start by learning a little bit more about what you do. So I am a partner with Fox Rothschild's Family Law Department. This is actually my second time back at Fox, Fox Rothschild. Okay. Um, I had been there for many years, became a partner, and then left and only recently returned um, to the organization. I am very proud to be a part of the organization. It's an organization that truly values and encourages their women, uh, especially in the law. It's so important to have that. Not all firms do that. And Fox makes it an important goal of the um, organization to be that. So we've been honored by Working Mothers Magazine and several other you know, Working Mothers organizations for that. Absolutely. So you're advocating for women in a lot of different ways. Tell me about some of the, the different types of law that you cover under matrimonial law. So um, when people hear matrimonial law, I think they primarily think about divorce, which mm -hmm. is a large part of my practice. But I also do things um, such as prenuptial agreements, so people who are getting divorced, uh, married, excuse me, and want to plan for that, um, generational planning, a lot of times there are parents who have generational wealth that they want to protect and they're encouraging their children to have the protections of a prenuptial agreement. We also do um, post-divorce work, so people who have been through a divorce but they still have issues that have to be resolved, whether that be regarding child support or college education or decision making in general regarding their children or financial issues. We do do um, domestic violence matters, so um, that is a sadder part of the practice, but certainly a vital one. People who are victims of abuse, and that translates across all socioeconomic um, classes, and so we represent them in domestic violence proceedings or just making sure that they are properly protected with regards to their divorce. Right. Okay. So in terms of advocating for women, either internally or externally, um, what are some things that you're involved in? So within my firm, I am part of the Women's Initiative. Uh, Fox Rothschild has one uh, firm-wide and then in every office, and so I am trying to be involved in that. I serve as a mentor to the younger female associates within the firm. Um, so they can come to me with any professional or personal issues. I'm happy. Always have an open door policy. Mm -hmm. As far as externally, I am involved in several organizations. I've par I volunteered for the Jersey Battered Women's Shelter and serving as an attorney, as well as Partners for Women's Injustice. We do volunteer clinics to give legal advice for women um, who maybe cannot afford Fox Rothschild's rights generally, but still need legal advice and, and Sometimes we take on their cases pro bono, it just depends on the situation. Um, I'm also involved um, in supporting organizations like the PG Chamber School for Children. Um, I find that to be you know, touching as a mother of three. I really want to make sure that I realize on a daily basis how blessed I am and help other families. Absolutely. Yeah, so balancing and getting to partner level at a law firm, what do you think um, some of the keys to success are that you've implemented in your life, like you said, as a mom of three and, again, a very successful career woman, uh, what are some of the, the tips that you would give other women? I think that I'm still trying to maintain or reach that balance between work and life. Um, it's funny that you mentioned that I'm there because, of course, we never feel that way. But some of the things that I think have helped me is, you know, I truly have a wonderful partner, my husband and I. We work as a team, so, you know, he picks up slack when I need it and vice versa, and that has made being able to do what I do at the level that I'm doing it at um, successful because I have somebody that I can count on. I also think that um, having other people, not only women but men in the organization that work as my colleagues and that we work as a team, I can go to them to bounce ideas off of each other if I need help on a situation. You know, we're all willing to help one another out and that collegiality is very important. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah, surrounding yourself with people that can help you yeah. definitely, it definitely makes life a little bit easier. So last question, our theme for the event that you're getting honored at is transforming tomorrow together. What does that message mean to you? 
I think that as a community, we really need to work together and not be afraid to ask for help and outreach and talk about the issues, whether they're hard or not, to make sure that we have open dialogue so that our children and our future are well cared for and that we're taking the next step to, to make it better for them than it was for us. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with you more, and I can't wait to celebrate and recognize you at the Top 25 event in October. So we are going to see you October 15th at the Liberty House, yes. and congratulations again, Sandra. Thank you.